Hey there, boys and girls. It's your salty Alaskan Rambo. I had to come home, smoke some of this sweet cheebs. Got on the phone with Juno, Alaska. Once again, for some more testimony because of all these budgets coming out. Our gas jumped up to 409 today. It'll probably raise another 5 to 10 cents because of this whole fucking goddamn Biden, stupid fucking communist regime running our country, shutting down our Keystone Pipeline, shutting down Anwar all over Alaska. This is bullshit. We produce a lot of oil here. The natives, we're all... We have our native corporations, everything. Uh, our lands, we have federal contracts on our... Indian and native Alaskan lands. We could be totally self-sustained with all the resources we have in Alaska. Alaska is not a fucking island next to Hawaii. It's almost half the size in land mass as the United States of America. You know? We're part of the 50 fucking states. We're the 49th. Canada's even bigger than America. So what's the fucking problem with all of America, all of North America being self-sustained so we don't have to be buying oil from Russia or Germany or France or fucking goddamn anywhere else? Iran, Iraq, Saudi Arabia. Now nah, this this shit is nonsense. So we're we're trying to figure out what to do with our budget, even though we're in inflation. We're buying oil from outside the country, which is fucking stupid. Ugh. Barack Obama land again. Yeah, remember that? When he was in for eight fucking years? With uh, Joe Biden as his fucking vice? His little white monkey boy? These people need to be hung. They need to take all these motherfuckers out and physically fucking hang them in public and send a fucking message to everyone fucking off. Our, all of our kids are, for the past 20, 30 years, are getting fucked off in their education. It's institution. They're indoctrinating all this crap. This has been going on for over a hundred fucking years with pharma and get everyone fucking sick because... None of these cocksuckers get rich from you being healthy and clear-headed and clear-minded and intelligent enough to have truth, logic, and common sense. Well, there's double-barrel middle fingers to all you assholes out there. Family-friendly? Oh, yeah, I'm fucking family-friendly for sure. Out protecting a bunch of families. I'm a little tired today because uh, I've been on multiple fucking jobs, on construction jobs, where people don't do their fucking job. And the, the, the lack of organization is fucking insane. What the fuck happened, everybody? Hmm? Everyone get fucking lazy? It's just like, oh, it's just easier to just fucking bend over and take it up the fucking ass as long as, you know, well, a lot of people are just taking it fucking dry up the fucking anus. I don't like it. And I'm not bending over. I'm standing up. Standing strong. And, you know, it's just like places like Juneau, Alaska. We need to have a, a boat convoy. Every time they hold these fucking sessions, they get paid 500 plus dollars a day in per diem just to be there. They fuck off for months on, at a at time. There's, there's all of our tax dollars just in Alaska alone, not to mention your tax dollars too, all across America. We got, we got oil companies, uh, you know, people calling in on the testimonies today, which you know. From fucking Texas and all these other energy places where they don't even fucking live here. The whole point I'm getting to is all this fucking greed and, and corruption needs to fucking end. I know this has been going on way longer than I have been alive. 
But when are we going to go boot to fucking ass and take care of this shit? Because it's never going to stop until we physically end it. So quit hating your fucking neighbor. Don't buy into the segregation bullshit narratives and gaslighting and all this stuff. Now everyone's dumping out vodka. and fuck it. It's like, don't take it out on the vodka. Don't take it out on the vodka, man. That's not cool. Vodka didn't do nothing to nobody. Except I used to use vodka all the time and still would like to if I even had any vodka in the house. I'm just not a hard drinker, you know, I like my beers. <laughs> you know, a little bit of marijuana twists one up. Fucking sweet, dude. Over here fucking sniffing fucking greens like crazy. Having a good time. Other than these fucking pieces of shit running the fucking show. I thought it was our show. We're the people. We are the people. <laughs> Did you ever read the Constitution? I don't need a piece of parchment to tell me I'm fucking free. I don't need a piece of paperwork to tell me that. But it is there to uphold our fucking rights that everyone loves so fucking much. Well, you're not going to have any if you allow these cocksuckers to keep fucking taking them from you. And everyone's still wearing these fucking face diapers and still getting the sheepy milk experimental fucking jabberooski. You're fucking useful idiots. That's all you are. You're useful to that side. You're not useful to us. You're dumb. You're a fucking dumb, stupid fucking person. Pretty fucked. I guess it'll just come a time where uh, enough's enough. And the real motherfuckers, like me, and everyone else like-minded out there, all of you, I know not everyone's fucked in the head, we're going to take care of this. You know, enough, there's enough, enough of this fucking, all these niceties, you know. Being nice while all the fuckery is still happening isn't going to fucking change anything. Oh, I got to fix that dri drippy pipe. Oh, I got to go do this. I got to do it. Well, it ain't going to get fucking done if you just don't go and fucking take care of it physically. So, there it is. Truth, logic, and common sense. Start using it. Don't believe any of that thing that you hear and only half of what you see and read with all this mainstream media bullshit, these curtains of distraction with Russia and Ukraine and all. There's corruption all over the motherfucking place. And I'm, you know, there's a lot of wonky fucking shit. A lot of wonky red flags out there. Oh, man. I don't, uh, there's a lot of ties with Ukraine and, and America, all these criminals in America, and Soros and Bezos and fucking goddamn nasty Pelosi, diaper neck hair, she's, fuck, she's no better than the chick on the other side of the fucking arm of Montel Williams, <laughs> my god. Anyways, there's my rant for today. Freedom Convoy, People's Convoy, stand tall, stand strong. They already imprisoned themselves at our Capitol building, and it's time for us to take that fucking fence around our fucking house and fucking start spanking these little bad children that are fucking up America. Okay? I don't think that's violent. That's just, you know, it's kind of biblical. It's like this, the staff and the rod, you know. It's like, gotta herd these, herd these fucking sheep and these fuckers living in their thrones and everything and their fucking palaces. No, that's our palace. And we're tired of scraps when we're all paying for it all. So, truth, logic, common sense. And you're... Beer campfire will be just fine. Okay, I'm just, I'm I'm tired. I'm tired. Everyone's tired of this shit. And it's, uh, I'm sorry, I ranted a little angrily, 
But it's okay. It's gonna be okay. And you know what? That's what we need is a little boot to fucking ass. You like freedom? You like not having to worry about anything? Well, you better get up off your shoulders and do something about it. Love you. We'll see you next time. This salty Alaskan Rambo out.